Good afternoon. In this talk, I want to tell you about TensorFlow and what can you do with it as a gopher. And what I hope your takeaway will be is taking it home and trying to give it a go. You probably all heard of TensorFlow. It's, uh, in short, an edge, end-to-end uh, -end open source machine learning platform. And last week, the Alpha 2.0 was released. So now you can use it for heavy lifting uh, in the Google Cloud, doing things like uh, using their CPUs and GPUs and also the TPUs, the Tensor uh, processing units. You could use it for IoT and for mobile, and you can just serve it uh, over the web. To generalize, the steps of machine learning are you take a problem, you define it, you gather the data, you prepare it, you choose your model, you train your model, you evaluate your model, tune what needs to be tuned, and then you predict. Anything that can be done by a computer is covered by TensorFlow. And the way that it works is that you have a tensor, which is this mathematical representation that has a data type and it has a dimension, which, a shape, which is the number of dimensions, a number of values per dimension. And then you have the graph or the model, which is a group of nodes. Each one represents a mathematical operation. And then your data or the tensors, they flow through this graph and they're undergoing mathematical operations. And at any point, you can inspect the value. If this makes you think of concurrency, parallelism, and this sketch, you're not alone. And this logic is also what made me try TensorFlow and Go. And now is a very good time to tell you I studied computer engineering, I did chip design, I did four years of Go, and now I'm doing observability. What I'm not is not a machine learning uh, engineer, and I'm not a data scientist, but I managed to do cool machine learning stuff using the Go API for TensorFlow. One of the things that I did is hack this uh, CAPTCHA. Uh, the full code is available there, and it was part of the challenge that you can see here. And this is actually running the Go code, and it takes this uh, CAPTCHA, and the output of it is, as you can see, U, W, A, uh, G, D, D, J. It's actually working, pretty cool. If you want to give it a try, there's great documentation you can use. The current stable version is 1.13, maybe reminding you a bit of the Go latest stable version, but it's actually only three years old. And last week, the Alpha 2.0 was released, both supporting Go APIs. Pretty cool. Also, both are linking to the Go doc, so we're all landing in a comfortable place if we want to give it a try. It is worth mentioning that both TensorFlow and machine learning in general is mostly supported for Python for obvious reasons. And the Python API is the only one that is, has the stability problem, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's the only one that allows you to build models using the API. But to build a model, you need not only to know Python, you also need to have very strong mathematical background. As a go, developer, what you mostly need to do would be either training or consuming the models. Both are covered with the Go APIs. So please give it a go and uh, try it in pro uh, production or for your personal product. Thank you. <laughs>